So today we're going to talk about cultural diet. Now cultural diet is a very interesting thing. Cultural diets are actually created based on the resources available to the people and the environment in which they live. For example, in Italy, Northern Italy and Southern Italy have two different types of sausages because of the environment. Now, cultural diet, when I say that, I mean all types of cultures. Now, a country can actually have several different cultures within the same country due to the environment and the resources. For example, the US, you know, we have the North, the South, we have East Coast, West Coast. It all depends on where you are. Like the South, they eat a lot of barbecue. That's actually part of food culture as well because they actually had a lot of those resources. Now in like New England, they have a lot of like lobster and fish and stuff like that because they're close to the ocean and it was a natural resource that they drew from. Now, cultural diets in different countries is actually very interesting. So if like you go to Russia, you can have two different types of food. You can have more of like a richer type class food, which was what the czars ate. And then you had the peasant type food. What's really interesting is today, you know, you can combine the two. Having better ingredients kind of makes it more of an upper class thing, while having a little bit lower quality ingredient makes it a little bit of a lower class. There are many different types of food culture. Uh, you can categorize it any way you want. You can categorize it by like European, Asian, North American, South American, Spanish, French. You can also, well, American, I mean, that is a food category. There is actually a lot to know about cultural diets, and within cultural diets, you can also have cultures based on, like, say, religion. For example, like, Judaism. Uh, when you think about Judaism from a food-type culture, it's very close to the Italian food culture, you know? All the family comes in, hangs out, eats together, big family, lots of really good food. So there's a, actually a lot to cultural diet and it really is based on what you are eating and what is around you. Most, most places that are heavy on fish is because that's a natural resource. Like in Japan and China, they grew a lot of rice and so that's actually the, one of the main cultural diets because of that. Now Japan, you know, they only I think like 15% of the land is actually farmable, but uh, it also really is what grew there. And they would create gruel, which, well, it's more of a European thing, but same thing over there, using different ingredients. It's more of a lower class thing from way back when. So it's really interesting going to food culture. Uh, you can look at it like Italian. It's also uh, not only about the food, it's also about like how people perceive it and how people get together to work with this. As I gave the example of the Italian family and the Jewish family, very similar in their food culture. Large family aspect and big family meals for Catholic having dinner on Sunday, not quite as big as the Jewish or the Italian type get togethers, but it is part of that culture. And I think that's it for this week. I will see you guys next week.